Say your first and last name for me and spell it out. Shamar Lemon, S-H-O-M-A-R-I-L-E-M-O-N. All right, so you're going to look at me, Coach Shamar, the whole time, all right? Don't act like the camera's not even there. Uh, tell me about your role in this place and, and how you fit into this, everything we got going on out here. I'm just an assistant coach, man. I came originally um, bringing my sons. So I've been coaching them since they were about four or five years old and just trying to find a good gym and family home. And Coach Bubba Winfield provided a, a great uh, gym and system here to uh, develop children and people in general. I feel like in all the boxing stores I've done, you know, it's great to have kids in here working out and everything, but it just seems like it's like the dedication and discipline that everyone sort of gravitates to. How much is a, that a big part of this mission in terms of keeping these kids on point? Um, it, it, it's, it's everything. It's the whole it's the whole core of it. It's the principles and the morals. We want them to take the principles that we're learning, teaching them in here, to out in life. Everybody may not necessarily want to become a world champion or a boxer, but they do want to uh, express themselves to the highest ability that they have. And that's what we here are helping them bring out of themselves. I see, I see the belts, man. I see the proud history on the walls, which I'll, I'll get some shots of that. But like, just being in here, for you personally and some of the older coaches, what does it mean to see all this history around? Sometimes the kids, you know, they, they might know a little bit of it, but not all of it. So what does that history mean to you? Um, uh, it, it means a lot. It means um, it giving me a, a, a opportunity and a chance to be a part of that history and to uh, build upon what was already found it, found it. So um, yeah, it's a big thing, man, and it helps. It helps everybody along the way. Um, I don't look at it just helping the fighters and the children and the older adults who come in, but it helps the coaches as well because we build a camaraderie amongst each other along with the community. Love that, love that. Let me see, did your mic fall down? Did that mic fall down on your shirt? Where'd that mic go? Uh, oh, shit, okay. I just want to make sure this picture is up. Okay. Oh, I didn't click on that. Good enough. That's my fault. There we go. All right, we're good. Um, what are what are what are the uh with the with the kids, man? I mean, like these kids are young in here. You, I mean, y'all like to start them young. Yeah, yeah. Is that how you started, and, and, and why is that important? Do you like to get your hands on them young? It seems like you know. Um. Well, I had. My sons, when I was like 25, so I knew just growing up when I got trained and got taught, it was um, it was when I was younger, and I knew it was something that helped develop um, children from me learning. So I knew it would help develop a person's personality and character, and it allowed them to express themselves truly. So yeah, I, that's why I see it. It seems like again, I told coaches I've been here two years, man, and. and my a guy that I work with has been here his whole life. You know, like when it comes to Sweet Pea and some of the legends around here, when it comes to boxing, the seven five seven is is palpable, man. It's real. There's a history here to it. Why do you think it's so important to this entire community, Tidewater area? Um, just like a lot of inner cities, the, the the trouble that is being able to they are able to run into, um, and it's just it's a community where we have a lot of things going on and with families and stuff like that. And we're just reaching out to try to bring that, bring a hole and fill a void, more so to say. So that's really the, the outlook that we're going after. Yeah, no, that, that's great. Uh, uh, Keyshawn Davis is sort of the guy who's a big name now, who, who's exactly. made it from here. And yeah, him and his brother's doing it big. Exactly, yeah. all his brothers, right? Keon and Kelvin as well. Um, when you see a guy like that, born and raised in Hampton Roads, you see the Norfolk on his on his belt, uh, on his uh, on his shorts every fight. What goes through your mind? Um, they were, like uh, Coach Rad said, they're a pillar in the community. They're uplifting and, and showing what is capable to the younger generation as well as the older. Um, they were actually what I use as a, a, a ideal for my sons to um, you know look at and, and look at the camaraderie they have as far as being brothers and the craft that they're pursuing and, and being dedicated and seeing what the capability and possibilities that comes out of hard work and dedication. Speaking of those possibilities, you know, I've been in contact with Keyshawn now for two years, ever since basically he got done with the Olympics. Um, you know, there is a possibility, it's, it's in the works, it's coming down the line, hopefully, but Top Rank is trying to, at some point, work out a fight where Keyshawn's main event at Scope in Norfolk. What would you think that would mean to this place? And what do you think that would look like if that was to happen? Oh, man, that's going to be a big turnout. That's going to be a major turnout. Um, 
Yeah, especially for the city of Norfolk, for the state of Virginia, period. Um, to get help, give he's best definitely giving us a lot of recognition with his skills and his um, accolades that he have accumulated up until this point. So it's going to be very big, and um, just he's just following along in his steps. Uh, Sweet Pea Whitaker is just building upon that. So yeah, it's going to be a very beautiful thing. We got to be the first big event at Scope in terms of pro boxing since yeah, Sweet Pea. Yeah, you know. Yeah. So that that place, the city might turn out for that one, huh? Oh yeah, man. It's gonna be that. That's, <laughs> man, they might shut down the city for that. <laughs> um, presidential wise, I love that. Yeah, I talked to him earlier today, man. I, I'm in contact with the top ring people, and I'm staying on them about it myself because I, I want to cover something like that. Uh, just going back to the big picture of this gym, man. Um, what do you hope the kids leave here with? You know, they, you guys are here five days a week, and. You know, I was a kid once working out, and I coached them yelling and screaming me, and I was tired, and I'm working. But now I feel like all those lessons help me. What do you hope these kids leave here with, whether they, they stay for 10 years or just even for a couple weeks? What do you want they grow into and leave this gym with? Um, being true to themselves and truly expressing themselves. That's what I hope they um, gather from leaving here, that they, that they belong here, and they have something to offer, and they're very valuable and to express that as much as they can to the highest ability that they can. That's what I really believe they leave out of here. And that's from the children to the adults. Love that. All right, coach. Appreciate it, man. That was great, y'all. This was really